Hey guys, Halloween is right around the corner and I was just thinking about how sometimes you want to do some kind of fall or Halloween design but you don't want to find it from Google and you don't want to pay for Cricut access but you still want some cool Halloween designs. You want to have a design that you create it yourself. So here we go. We're going to create a pumpkin using the shapes from Cricut Design Space that come free. And we're going to start with a circle. I'm going to unlock it so I can make it the size I want. And I'm going with this kind of oval shape. And one thing I am going to do is I'm going to change the color to orange because pumpkins are orange. And I'm going to copy and paste this a couple of times. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them together like this, line them up. And you can do uh, more um, bumps on your pumpkin. You'll see here. Let's see. Uh, we could do four right here. So let me weld this together down here. And there is part of your pumpkin. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the stem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Arial rounded font and I am going to use a parentheses. Okay, I'm going to send this to back and I'm also going to change the color to brown. And I'm going to unlock it so I can size it down and I'm going to drag it over here. Now personally, I think that the pumpkin looks a little bit better with three bumps. So let me control C because I think I still have one on my clipboard. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, let's just grab another shape here. Make it a little bit smaller. Control C copy and paste it three times and weld it together change the color to orange and just to make it simpler I'm going to copy and paste the parentheses stem I'm also going to send it to back and Here's the hard part. Now I'm going to hit, put it to eight on Y so it's easier to click and drag. There you go. So there's a pumpkin. I'm gonna scoot these guys over here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a jack-o'-lantern face basically the same way. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hide all of these by clicking the little eyeball and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get another circle and I'm going to unlock it make it an oval shape and I'm going to do it again now you can copy and paste here but I actually think it looks a little bit cooler just freehanding so it's not exactly the same but maybe close now I'm going to take another circle well actually I'm going to weld these together I forgot that by hitting weld now I'm going to take another circle size it down you can unlock or not unlock and I'm going to drag, I think that might be a little too big. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And I'm going to have it overlap just a bit. 
another circle. Maybe we'll make this one, just keep this one the same, not locked. And I'm going to go there. Now I'm going to highlight these little circles and I'm going to weld them. I'm going to click and drag so everything is highlighted and I am going to slice. So when you slice, it slices out. See how the, they look like little eyes now? I'm going to get rid of all the excess and now all I have are the two circles with the smaller circle sliced out. Now I'm going to go and pick a triangle and I am going to unlock it, size it down, and I'm just going to set that there. And now finally we're going to take yet another circle. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. And I'm going to copy and paste. I'm I personally like it with a little bit of a wide, wider smile. I'm going to highlight these two and I am going to slice. This is what I want and I'm going to get rid of this excess. Now we're going to do some more slicing. I'm going to grab the square and I'm going to unlock. size it to the size I want and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to unlock this. I'm going to rotate it a little bit and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to copy and paste again. I'm going to rotate it I'm going to unlock it so it's slightly different. See how it's a little bit skewed here? That's kind of cool. And I'm going to put it right there. Now I'm going to highlight these three little squares. I'm going to weld them together. Click and drag to highlight this. I'm going to slice it. I'm going to get rid of the excess. Click and drag. Now I'm going to unlock this grin and I'm going to make it wide. I'm going to highlight all of this and weld it together. I'm going to change the color to black and I'm going to unhide my pumpkins. Oops. Wrong. And there we go. Now you have a jack-o'-lantern face that you made completely on your own. You don't have to worry about a copyright because you saved an image from Google. And you don't have to worry uh, about paying for excess to get a jack-o'-lantern. You made it completely on your own. And this is completely customizable. You can do whatever you want. You can use triangles for the eyes. And you can do, say like this. I'm going to copy, paste, weld together, and... Or we can grab another circle, make it smaller, copy paste, and copy and paste. I feel like those are a little bit too big, so make them a bit smaller. Highlight, weld, whoops, highlights, slice, 
and you have those kind of eyes. So here I am uh, just using the exact same method and using different shapes to see what other kind of eyes I can make and other types of noses and mouths um, using the same method as before, using the shapes that come free and using the slice tool. Um, what is really cool about this is that it is completely customizable. You can do whatever you want. Um, and it's, it's so much fun to create your own designs. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you liked this video. Uh, show me what you're making. I'd love to see. And um, yeah, happy crafting, everybody. Happy Halloween.